Uh, greetings, my beautiful Aquariuses, and how are you? And thank you so much for uh, tuning into my channel and leaving me comments and subscribing. I really appreciate that. And to my new viewers, uh, welcome. And my name is Ingrid, and I'll be doing the reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And I just wanted to let you all know, who don't know, that I am a fellow Aquarius. So I always um, am so excited about doing this reading uh, for the Aquarius Collective. And uh, this is what I have for you today. You're closing out an old cycle. You're coming to the end of um, a, a long journey where you have uh, stood your ground and you've uh, moved through many different phases, but you're coming uh, to this uh, completion. You're dancing uh, through this uh, Ouroboros. That's the serpent eating its tail. You're coming to wholeness. And that wholeness uh, is coming, but you need to get clarity on how that's coming uh, to shine some uh, brightness on the situation and to look at anything that is toxic, Aquarius, uh, that might keep you at a low vibrating energy, uh, entrapped in something that is uh, uh, deceptive, uh, that is um, ego-driven, that is materialistic, that is forgotten, uh, this is the energy of forgetting that this is uh, the light of the world is here to shine clarity on whatever it is that is holding us um, in fear, uh, in bondage, um, an addiction, a bad vibration that we're uh, holding on to in terms of a belief system. But you are uh, moving forward, uh, Aquarius, uh, toward uh, uh, the chariot is going. You're uh, healing. You're bringing those shadow and dark elements uh, together uh, for your fruition. And it's coming because of um, you're going to work on whatever this is that you're going to have to let go of that is no longer serving you. And so that's what I have in the pre-shuffle. And let's get uh, some uh, clarity on um, what it is that uh, Aquarius you need to know. And today I'm going to do a reading using the seven um, chakras, seven cards, and then um, clarification for each of those cards. And so it is for Aquarius. And this is uh, what I have for you. The star, wow, well, you're coming out as yourself. And this um, shining, inspiring, renewing, using your gifts and talents, Aquarius, that is going to bring you a lot of security, stabilization. That's going to give you a platform to shine from and to renew um, yourself and to renew the world. That's your mission, Aquarius. This is your card. And when you show up as the first uh, uh, card and of the deck that is showing me that uh, something is very significant uh, that's coming in um, mid-June for you, Aquarius. And uh, the Two of Wands is here um, as your creative energy. You're going to be creative. You're going to take a passion out there. You're planning something. You're working. You're sending text. You're uh, uh, emailing. You're calling. You're getting information about a plan that you've been working on. You've got, uh, you are already established. You're pretty successful already. You're uh, standing high above uh, on your, in a, your beautiful home, looking out over the water. Where can I take this energy? I want to move out of my comfort zone. I want to see where I can uh, take this inspiring um, uh, healing information that I want to share with others and to um, uh, use all of my gifts and talents and to uh, bring hope into uh, a difficult time because the star comes after the tower. So something has come in the recent past for my Aquariuses that have been uh, some old uh, <clears throat> relationship system uh, belief, uh, something you've built that was not true is crashed down and now you have to make a new plan. And you... Um, at the solar plexus, you've got the Four of Cups saying your willpower, what you're planning. You're kind of a little apathetic. You're maybe needing to meditate and reflect on, well, what have I produced to this point? Out of my um, being the water bearer, what have I been able to establish in these cups? What have I uh, felt about <clears throat> my relationships? What have I felt about... Um, <clears throat> the people around me, 
a love in general in my life and where you are uh, feeling that sense of self-confidence uh, you're needing to buffer that up because on your sweatshirt you said you're um, over it but are you over something if you're over it then Aquarius um, use your will your strength of um, passion uh, to stand up for yourself um, and to use discipline to uh, receive this new offering uh, to get out there again to socialize to plan maybe you're planning on uh, getting out there having a party moving forward but something is um, keeping you stuck we'll get clarity on that but the world what well, we saw the world um, in our pre shuffle this is what your heart is feeling your heart is knowing your values, your deepest um, emotions say, I'm coming to the end of whatever this is. And um, whatever this boredom, this feeling of isolation, feeling that I'm disconnected from my friends and family and from my heart, you're closing that out with success. And you're moving into a whole new world with recognition, rewards. And uh, you're going to uh, communicate something through the hermit, through that voice. You're going to share your story of when you went into isolation, when you climbed the mountain, when you got above everything to study a deep wisdom. Um, <clears throat> you um, are uh, communicating whatever this knowledge is that you're receiving from closing out an old karmic cycle. And you're using your intelligence. Uh, you, you're using your mind to get above the clouds, to see things um, with truth, with accuracy. Um, you could be a professional, a lawyer, a doctor, uh, <clears throat> someone in the army or the police force, but you're using your uh, mental capacities, your IQ to cut through and to transform this situation um, into uh, this new love offer that's coming. And it's coming uh, because you are uh, seeing the truth of it. Uh, you're getting um, that knowledge and you're receiving this offering. That could be this cup that you are uh, was cut off from before. And now you're ready uh, to receive it. It's coming into full view for you. And <clears throat> it's coming because uh, you're shining the truth on something. And you are closing out an old cycle, Aquarius. And let's see what it is that <clears throat> we need to get some clarity on. Why is the star here? As you come into uh, that sense of um, the very root of the <clears throat> what it is you need to know in June, what is this uh, inspiration that you're bringing? What is this healing, this optimism uh, that you're sharing? Well, it's coming because of, of the Queen of Swords. You've become emotionally balanced. You've been able to uh, <clears throat> take, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of the. Um, emotion out of something. Uh, you've been looking at it uh, with the facts. Um, you might be seeing something for the first time about uh, the star, that you are the star, Aquarius. You're maybe allowing yourself to get above something that was holding you back so you can uh, see this and be um, honest and very direct uh, with whatever this is that you're seeing. Um, your inspiration, be honest about it. Uh, your renewing and healing, be honest about it, to share that truthfully and to use your analytical abilities uh, to do so because this is a card of Aquarius. And whatever you're planning or whatever you're putting out there, whatever you've established and you know it, you're ready to take out into the world is going to uh, be, bring you the wish fulfillment card. Uh, it's going to bring in something that's going to be very satisfying, very fulfilling. Uh, you're going to be uh, uh, having emotional peace, uh, being very uh, sat satisfied sexually in your relationship. Uh, your dreams are coming true. It's a time of prosperity and enjoying, just a kind of uh, reveling in uh, happiness about whatever it is you're taking out there and planning. And the Four of Cups is here because you've moved on recently uh, from that, uh, uh, you said you're over it. You're getting out of a situation that's holding you back emotionally, physically, uh, your feelings, and you're uh, moving on 
uh, you're maybe um, you're moving on to uh, uh, from uh, troubled waters to safer waters. You see, the waters here are turbulent, and you're moving on because you're taking that inner child. Um, and just the clothes on your back, Aquarius. And this is another Aquarius card. So it's saying that um, uh, you are um, going. You have maybe been overwhelmed. Um, in terms of uh, what you uh, are standing up for, your discipline, how you feel, uh, your confidence um, has maybe been challenged uh, and you're uh, overwhelmed with it uh, recently. And you're moving on uh, from this disappointment, this despondency, this apathy, this boredom. And you're closing out an old cycle because you're going to close it out fast. It's coming in quickly with a lot of communication. And important information is going to help you uh, close this out, uh, a karmic cycle, and that you are being <clears throat> blessed uh, with uh, that in your heart to know it's coming <clears throat> quickly, these feelings. <clears throat> um, and you're going to move uh, quickly toward this opportunity to close out an old cycle. And this careful planning you've been doing um, about this creative project is going to... Uh, be uh, successful, um, and you're going to be on the lookout for important uh, news that's going to help you close this cycle out. And the hermit is here because uh, you went away to get information on something that uh, really hurt your heart, and some something about loss and sorrow. Uh, but the hermit, you went away to in solitude uh, to learn about this, to heal from it. Um, uh, somebody could have been very cruel in a separation with a marriage and it led you to feel uh, in maybe isolation for um, nine years. You could have been feeling this isolation. But now um, uh, you have to accept, okay, you maybe made mistakes in love uh, and you're going to accept it and accept, accept your part in it and move forward and get new information. Uh, that's going to lead to clarity and truth um, because you're letting go. Um, this is coming to an end, whatever this um, mental uh, heartbreak. You have heartbreak, but you also have uh, the mental thoughts you have about it. You've been thinking about something. Uh, you're not uh, really uh, allowing yourself uh, to uh, face this defeat. You've hit rock bottom. But the King of Swords is here because you're getting the truth on whatever this was of bottoming out. Um, uh, the trouble is ending. It's the 10, is completion. Um, and you're giving up this idea of thinking like um, a victim or being a martyr. You're moving out of that because you're tr seeing the truth on it. That's not you. That's what the third eye is saying. You're um, you're uh, communicating that through this vision. And um, you're, uh, you might have felt like it's something about this uh, Three of Swords caused a lot of hurt and cruelty, abuse, uh, separation, emotional upheaval that you had to um, communicate through this wisdom, get understanding, get knowledge about. And uh, um, you're saying, okay, no matter how much I tried to think through this, how powerful I thought my mind could be, I had to come to the end and say, this is over. I give up. I can't, I, want, I don't want to um, uh, see this anymore, this do downward spiral. So I'm going to use my uh, intelligence uh, to get out of this. And the Ace of Cups, because you do that, you're bringing in a new love, and you're going to have to rest and renew and heal. And that takes some time out, uh, you know, because you realize whatever this personal battle is uh, that you have gone through, you're now able to rest and renew and pray and connect to your higher powers. And that's bringing in a new love, new love of yourself, a new feeling of a love in the air, uh, loving your life again. And to um, feel like you need to have some time alone with your thoughts to really receive this love this coming and to uh, to see that you know you are able to um, now be at peace and let your guard down and let yourself feel loved 
an Aquarius. That is uh, so beautiful uh, for you. Having um, been an Aquarius myself, I really relate to this story. And um, you are the star, which is saying, as you start the reading, you're stepping out on the stage as the star, shining, healing, renewing, offering inspiration to others because of the truth that you're telling. You're sharing uh, accurate truth. Um, and this plan you're making, you're taking it out as a wish fulfillment and it's coming back uh, with a lot of happiness. Um, you're going to feel your body celebrating uh, with others and uh, indulging in uh, the fruits of the your uh, the fruits of the um, earth, the wines, everything uh, just satisfied uh, with fulfillment right now. And let that happen. You're going to be feeling very um, good with your material possessions and very physically fit. But um, your self-esteem, your sense of discipline and willpower uh, has been hurt uh, by some feeling of disappointment, uh, boredom, apathy around uh, your connections with others. Maybe you had a breakup in a situation and you're trying to get over that. Um, and you're being offered a new uh, opportunity. And you're moving with that to a safer waters. You're doing inner child healing, which is very important, Aquarius, because you're gonna, that is gonna help you close out an old, a negative maybe karmic cycle that needs healing. And you're dancing through to a whole new life, a whole new situation. You might not even be recognize it because it's coming in so fast with a lot of communication. And you're coming to a major crossroad in your life. And you're going to have everything uh, suddenly just um, like uh, the arrows are all going to be shot at once toward this destiny. But before you get there, uh, you have to um, resolve, have a resolution around a heartbreak, around some divorce, around uh, some loss in terms of love uh, that involved uh, maybe a third party or some a sense of cheating or cruelty, uh, abuse, separation, some upheaval, um, some betrayal. And you're uh, getting information and self-knowledge about that so you can sit on your throne of transformation and use your mind over matter uh, to transform uh, whatever this defeat, this despair, this uh, trouble is coming to an end. And you're stopping that uh, spiraling down because uh, you're taking in a new love offer. Um, it's being offered to you a new way of loving. And you're going to heal and re rest and renew and take time out uh, to um, feel that you are uh, having a light breaking through. Uh, whatever this is, is coming out of a dream or a reverie. Um, so you can see, okay, the battle's over. And I can take in this love now. And that's what I have in a beautiful message for my Aquarius. And if you uh, resonate with this, please uh, tell me how and leave comments. Because other Aquariuses would probably love to share that information with you. And please subscribe and give me a thumbs up right now. Because Aquarius, you know I love you. And we're in this interconnected field together. And we're learning to receive that love and to let go of anything mentally that's holding us back and to move uh, to peace and renewing of our mind through inspiration, inspiring ourselves and others. And see you next time. Bye-bye, Aquarius.